So I've actually got a competition, everyone's actually lining up right now, so we've got to get out there. But we'll be running those Vitor tyres, the rules are no change in tyres for the whole competition, you've got to stay out there, try and make them last. <laughs> Alright, so we're in the line, it's too noisy over there, too many SR20s, but first up we got Cabot, yeah? Is that right? Yeah, in his 350Z. Yeah. There's a few 350Zs going on out here. This is his bloody VQs. Um, yeah, this is his practice car, you said, and yeah. the uh, pro car at home. Yeah. So I've cranked my pressure a bit for him, and he's got bloody 285s on there. <laughs> Accelerators, CPSI. Yeah. Cranked them, cranked them right up. So I'll try put, we'll try put on a good battle. Yeah. But it's like a G1 GP, kicks off the weekend real nice. Everyone gets to say g'day, meet each other, and um, have a good time. So there's no real pressure. It's just all about having fun. We've already had some dramas go down already. People understeering off. But um, yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, nice to meet you, bro. Yeah. Have some fun. other side of the world. How do we do that? Absolutely love that track. I have an important announcement for you guys real quick. We have the beautiful Naz Kang hoodie plus many more really good designs. Brendan's been hard at work bringing you all the spice. If you want to get your hands on this good stuff, head to keepitreat.com and we are working with 144 Racing to bring you all of our merch right there in the States so you don't have to order it from down under. Anyway, let's get you back to that beautiful track. Here, 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 here boy, first battle one. He was right on me, uh, on my lead. He was, he was chasing down my door, but then I put it back on him harder. That was sick. Not sure who we got next, but um, we've dropped pressure down a little bit, ready to go. His vital was absolutely hook up hard. We're on the 200s, uh, they supplied me. It'd be good to have 300s, to be honest, probably on this, but it's still cool to see how uh, hard they hook up. This Mustang coming past right now is absolutely spicy. Pretty much the VL of America. They got like A86 tail lights, VL, SL fronts. Yeah, they come factory V8, 5.3 or something, I don't know. I'll go check one out over this weekend. We'll do a few car features for sure. Some pretty cool cars here. This worked out well, he's, he's just parked up right here so we can check out this thing properly. Nice, nice and basic. 
got everything you need. The radium frame back there. Surge tank. Battery box. To the VL, the headlights are like so close to a VL. If you like, if you chop them like here, it's literally identical. We're up in the Kansai, same ones we got on the 33 at home. Alright, let's see if we can have a chat with them. Alright, go mate. So it's Drew, is that right? Correct, correct. Yeah, it's nice. Just got a Gen 1 Coyote out of an F-150. F-150 motor. And it screams like a NASCAR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love the sound of this thing, actually chalks the tires. Oh yeah. Yeah, very nice. Fits in there nice too. Can you get stuff, like is there a kit or just this custom fit or? Uh, yeah, so like the nice thing is this is a modular engine, so I just used the, the motor mounts out of a car that generation. Yep. And they bolt right in, and then you just have a, uh, a specific K member to swap it out. Okay. So, yeah, it's it's really, it's literally bolt in. That's nice. And, and transmission, you said you got? T56. T56, yeah. So, nice little combo. Can you get them to bolt up pretty easy, too? Is that, or is that like a. Yeah, so they use the same modular bell housing pattern. Okay, yeah. So, so it's just straight bolt all in. I, all I had to do is just swap the clutch and the. Um, pilot there yeah how good's that perfect it's a good little combo this thing yeah. rips what steering and all that you got in there uh fdf got an electric power steering pump from oh, yeah. yeah nice it's a full full setup just yeah. everything you need basically oh, yeah. yeah and you had it in there long i've been driving for five years now yeah, yeah. yeah. same setup yep <laughs> basic how good's that and you said you got the rear end as well out of one of them yeah yeah so it's an independent rear yeah uh, these normally come solid axle with a four leaf all right in yeah so <laughs> it's crazy needed I'm surprised there's not more of these things out there. That sounds like the package and a half. Yeah, you probably built it for a fair price too, depending how you, how you got the motor, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So I actually bought it well before COVID, and it was right when the swaps were starting to get popular here. Okay. I bought it for about half of what the going rate was. Yeah. So got steel. Not bad, not bad. And suspension, all that, just like all over. It's like all yeah, it's got feel four four two, so I got double adjustables. What yeah. kind of what kind of power? You said it's stock, did you? Uh, it runs a, a Ford control pack, so it's based on a stock ECU. Yep. Um, Usually tuned, they make around 390 to the wheel. Yep. Um, this one is tuned, but it's never been on a dyno, so yeah. I'm just guesstimating. Sounds crispy. It sounds oh, like yeah. it's pumping out the power. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. Well, thanks, Ace, for showing us around your car. Appreciate it. No problem, no problem. Thank you. No the weather has turned on. Little breeze, it's premium. Just walking at the back of the track here, what lined up, and I noticed this. Ah, so I think this is like the drainage of the track. It's just over there. You can see the wagon. And um, if you lose it somehow, it is a big mound there. It'd be pretty hard to get over it. But falling down here would not be fun. Up next, we got the Mustang. Rob, I think. Let's do it. that battle just I reckon I probably needed to go down on the tire pressure a little bit but next up we got the premium Mustang so Drew's Fox body Mustang up next hopefully it's a good battle I'm gonna uh, chase first on this one so see if I can get up on his grill so I've dropped the tire pressure a little bit again now we're trying to make these tires last remember so see how we can go let's go keep going with top eight baby <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
rattle. Oh, my tyres are almost roasted. I had to keep heavy in the throttle. It was much slower than I thought his tyres were dying. Yeah, I was just like buried it and then on the, on the foot brake or the down, down hand brake, whichever you want to call it. He's loving it. They got this um, BMW up next. And yeah, top four, baby. Let's go. running the, the speed line to keep keep in drift and my tires were so hot so it's hard to hard to stick with him but that was a, a good fun I made sure on the lead I threw a nice big entry on the last corner all right so battle for first and second top two so I got some fresh vitals on there um, down on 20 psi cold should should be okay I, I think he, the other guys on street tires so I don't want to go too crazy low on the pressures but yeah this is it this is the battle Let's see if we can get some tire marks on some doors Good fun. Yeah, great fun. I feel like a dog. Bring your pro car to a fun bash. So I got some merch. <laughs> People trying to kill me now because I won. Something more important going on. <laughs> so he wants a t shirt, so we're going double or nothing. If I beat him in scissors, paper, rock, then. Yeah, he gets the t shirt. Oh no, he pays double. 
if it, if <laughs> if I beat no wait, yeah, if he beats me he gets it for free. Oh, oh. oh. Anyway, That's the only way I can beat this man. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go see the runner up. Go give him some merchandise for being a legend. See if I can find him. All right, come over here. What's up, dude? Got some stuff for you, boy. Man, I appreciate that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, good guy, man. I feel like a dog bringing a pro car to a bloody mid pond bash. Hey, taking home the competition. It's a sick car. <laughs> it's a sick car. You deserve it. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, that's all right. I put stickers on a van everywhere I go. That's it. Definitely going on a side of that. 100%. Yeah. Give yeah. us a rundown on your car because I haven't checked it out yet. Apparently, we've got Burnout Corner down at our pits. Down at the motorized camp. All right, so here we have Todd Cooper and give us a rundown. Man, it's really just a real simple. 240. It's the American package, I like to call it. 240 with an LS and some sort of steering modification. Exactly. Like it's Hang on, it's not YSFAB, is it? No, it's FDF. That's right, yeah. yeah. FDF is the new YSFAB anyway. Realistically, so. yeah. I mean, it's the V1 kit. I haven't broken anything, hadn't had to replace anything. It's been solid. Just uh, LS1, got a good set of heads on it. Reliability, like, and if anything happens, like you said, the American That's Dream, it. it's advanced auto parts. Yeah, yeah. best way to go, yeah. yeah it's it, T56. Third and fourth are dog ring engagements, so it's face plate. Nice. So first and second aren't because you really never use first and second. Yeah. So once I get into third and fourth, it's just still gotta use the clutch, but it's way easier to shift. Yep. Uh, factory diff with 350C axles. Just really, does the job. Yeah, that just really keeps does going. The job. Yeah, like I've been, I've been on all seasons until, of course, I battled you. I've been scrubs. <laughs> Oh, I, knew. I saw you roll by me and you had stickers on the tires and I was like, this man will be all an ass. Sweet man, I'll, thanks thanks for the runs. Absolutely. It's good fun, we'll do some more running. driving over the weekend. Oh, absolutely, I'll be here. <laughs> thanks, man. Appreciate it. It's a late lunch time, so it's time to take the beast out. Ooh. It's a Chick-fil-A. yesterday um last night after the competition and whatnot but we did some reverse laps of the track but back in the morning they did their burn couch ritual to finish the night off and um danny and i bailed we're jet lagged and we got child to attend so back at the airbnb i just wanted to show you guys just a quick sneak peek um of this absolutely gangster airbnb on the middle of a lake we got the beasts here Cruise the VL back last night. I'm gonna cruise back to the track with a couple of the boys this morning. But literally circling around it's just the whole lake. It's so gangster. It's got the like chairs and fireplace and the jetty and the boaters. Not that we can use the boat, but that'd be okay. Alright, let's get back to the track and 
change some tyres and do some more laps and I've also got to update you on the latest sponsors and all the new stickers and the tag the wag so we'll do that when we get to the track. Boys in the VL. Been slack on the filming today, but let's go over some of these new sponsors. Today they're on the track in reverse, so we're gonna get some mad tandem. We'll try and get some out car shots, some drone shots, throw it in. But let's go over some of the new stickers we got on the car. All right, so Vital tires, of course. We're repping Motul, supplying some oils for the year. We got Drift Runner because um, Drift Runner, you can get the wagon in the game and play it, which is pretty damn cool. And you can even get our local track and run the wall. Of course, all you guys jumping on the tag, the wag. So, got all your names, the fresh 31 sticker for the for the year on there. Hopefully, you see your name on there or your business. Seeing some some local guys support, which is always great. So, thank you very much. Thanks to all the sponsors for coming on board and um, helping out with this tour. And we'll see you at the next stop down in Florida for Cletus. Three to 500 and burnout rivals. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.